I had to pull the car over and I, I Jerry Colangelo and I just you know a guy that I respect so much that makes me feel proud of what I do in, in my own heritage I just said look I gotta call you back Cal so, what's it like to be in the same company as the great of the greats I feel phony why because I don't see myself this way I don't I went around the room I mean uh, I see Coach Crum, and, and any time we went head-to-head, he beat our brains in. And I saw Coach <laughs> Lute Olson, and every time we went head-to-head, he beat our brains in. And, and I saw Coach Calhoun, and I did beat his brains in. No, I <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I had to do that. I know that'll drive you crazy. But, and then you see Bill Walton, you see all these players, and, and, and you're like, wait a minute. Coaches live day to day, moment to moment. I'm not looking back on a career in numbers and final fours and trips. I'm not, I don't do that. And so when you tell me, well, your numbers indicate and what you've done and how you've done it, you should. I go, wow, I, I'm not thinking in those terms. I'm just thinking, I came from Moon Township. I did not play at a private school. I did not play for one of the great coaches in the history of the game. I was a Division II basketball player. Was lucky to get the Massachusetts job. No one wanted it, which is the only reason I got it. And now I'm sitting at this table. What? What just happened? <laughs> How did this happen?